you for coming along this afternoon. Uh, my name is Chris Johnson. I'm the managing director of a company in Dubai called Sev.com. We are a digital agency which focuses on mobile app development. And this particular project I'm here today to speak about is called Yala Emirates, which is basically uh, an application which gives digital discount vouchers and also uses a lot of NFC technology uh, to make it easier for the customers to use it and also to provide better reporting back to the merchants who are involved. Um, the application looks like this. Now, the, the, the type of discounts that we're offering is everything from a buy one, get one free to a 50% off to an 80% off. The, the system allows advertisers complete flexibility on the type of discounts that they want to, to offer customers. Our focus is in two markets. One is people who live here in the United Arab Emirates, and second of all, inbound tourists. So we have a version of the application with more tourist type activities, which focuses on, on inbound tourists. All of, the, um, all of the offers on the application are categorized, and this is uh, dining, uh, shopping activities, tourist activities. We have a total of 12 categories to allow people to find what they're looking for easier. And the application is going to be available on all major smartphones, uh, starting with Nokia, and then moving on to the iPhone, Androids, Blackberry, and eventually Facebook as well. Uh, we're launching on June the 1st here in the United Arab Emirates and then launching in a, a number of other countries later this year. These are some of the advertisers that we have on board at the moment. So each of these brands are putting one or more discount coupons onto the, the application. And then they would set up, a, they would choose a number of different charging models, whether that's a cost per click, cost per download, cost per acquisition. They have a number of different options on how they want to pay to be on the application. Um, they can choose a number of different redemption methods, one of them being NFC, which I, I'll talk about in more depth in a second. They set a monthly budget, which means that when their budget's spent, the, the, the voucher is removed from any new downloads of the application. So it means that an advertiser with a, a $200 budget or a $20 budget can take part in the application, and it's completely flexible depending on their budget. They can also set a maximum number of vouchers which can be downloaded. So if they, they are worried about capacity or about uh, being particularly busy at the weekend, then we can control the number of vouchers uh, from the back end. Voucher usage frequency. This is around how many times one individual can use a particular offer. Some advertisers are happy for somebody to use the same discount voucher over and over again. Other people want to make it a one-off particular offer. Start and end dates, obviously. And they can also set up multiple different campaigns to try different creative, different types of discounts to see which ones are most, most successful. Uh, we also use a lot of location-based services, so they can target Abu Dhabi, they can target Dubai. They can also split it and target inbound tourists or residents based on the IP address that the, uh, the user has when they download the application. So a number of different ways to target. And then we have an analytics package which allows the, the merchant, the restaurant, the hotel, whatever it may be, to track how the vouchers are being used, by whom they're being used, and, uh, and to tie that in with their own internal reporting. The system has been built to be completely white label, so we're, we're actually planning to roll this out internationally, working in partnership with different brands. This could be an airline brand who wants to give a discount coupon application to their inbound uh, tourists, perhaps going to London, Berlin, New York. Um, we, we're talking to a number of different brands, but the system can basically be branded anything and can be used by anyone around the world. Just to talk you through very quickly how the application works. So the first thing you would see when you open it is a list of all the, the featured offers. Now these can be the most recent offers that have been added to the system, or it can be um, fo offers that we particularly want to focus on because they give the best value to, to our customers. The users would scroll up and down, like any smartphone user will know what to do, and, and when they find the offer they're looking for, they would click on it to, to get more information. We, we, as I mentioned, we've categorized them all. There's 12 categories at the moment, and this is just some of, this is the first nine of those categories. And uh, it makes it quicker and easier for the user to find what they're, what they're looking for. When you find the offer you want, you would click on it and you would see a lot more information on, on the, the particular offer. Um, all, of, all of these icons you see just below the main heading, this is things that links to maps so you can plot the location of your different branches. There's click to call functionality so you don't have to write down phone numbers. We have all the social media aspects linking with Facebook, Twitter, etc. Uh, the user would then choose whether they want to save the voucher for later use or to use it immediately. 
and th that's those two buttons down there. If they click Save Voucher, it's, it's basically put into a My Favourites folder so they can find it later on when they do want to use it. Now, as I mentioned, we have multiple different redemption options, uh, one of which is NFC, and I'll, I'll cover this in a little bit more depth in a second. What we also have is, I mentioned location-based services. Now, you're probably all very familiar with this, but what this allows people to do is to say, I'm, I'm currently in ADNEC, please show me everything that's near ADNEC. So show me all the vouchers which are relevant to my particular location. They then have the ability to set the radius of the search using a sliding bar. So it can be 20 kilometers, it can be 200 meters, and that, therefore they're focusing down into the, the offers that are most relevant to them. The other functionality we have is a planning tool. Now this is, this is mainly targeted at tourists, but what it does is it allows you to say, tomorrow I'm going to Dubai Mall, or the day after I'm going to Murdiv City Centre, please show me all the offers which will be available to me tomorrow in that location. And you would either do that using GPS if you're there already, or you would set the location manually. And then basically what it will do is all the vouchers are tagged. So we use keywords to tag the voucher as being relevant for lunch or relevant for dancing or relevant for shopping. And then you can, we will basically suggest offers which are most relevant to them, depending on what they want to do when they get there. Whether they're going in the morning and they're looking for breakfast or whether they're going in the evening and they're looking for something to do in the evening. Now, in terms of the, the redemption options, uh, there's, there's two main categories. One is redemption on site, which is basically using the voucher in a restaurant when you're there. Um, the, the, the two main redemption options we have, one is a manual redemption, which allows the, the restaurant, depending on their point of sale facilities, to enter a unique voucher ID and track it on their own system. When that's done, our phone, our, our application also creates a report, which can then be used to, to, to tally them up and to make sure that, the, um, that, that, that the, the redemptions are accurate. What we are, however, doing is pushing um, a lot of our advertisers, a lot of our merchants to use NFC technology because it's, there's less likely to be any errors in terms of, uh, of staff making mistakes or staff not being trained properly on how to, how to redeem the vouchers. But however the vouchers use, the key thing is that the, the application is programmed to send the redemption report back to our servers just like you would track a click on Google Analytics. So when the merchant logs in, they can run a number of different reports, they can see who's been redeeming the vouchers at what time, on what day, and they can tally that up with their own, their own point of sale records. The other option is if the advertiser requires people to book in advance. Now this could be a, a very popular restaurant which is always busy. It, it would also be in the case of things like hot air balloon rides where you have to actually make a reservation um, in order to use it. This is either booking by email, clicking to call the, the, the merchant, or using the mobile website if that's available. So we would link through to their own booking page. Now in terms of uh, using NFC, we, we, when we were designing this project, we looked at a number of different ways, a number, a number of different technologies that we could use. We looked at QR tags, we looked at um, 2D barcodes, and we decided that NFC was the best option for us going forward. Uh, and what I'd like to do is basically just um, tell you about how we're using NFC. So there's, there's two main sides. First of all, we're using NFC to help to distribute the application. So th via posters, via uh, tabletop mats uh, in, in restaurants and bars, uh, via stickers which could be left pretty much anywhere. This is all we need for someone to tap it and to download the application. Um, and there's lots of creative ways that we can do that. For example, one of the one of the bars in Dubai who we're working with has actually is going to put an NFC tag into its menu. So basically, when you're reading it, if you have kids with you, if you download the application, your kids will eat free. And so the, the tag is there, and they can do it while they're in while they're in the bar. There's there's no there's no need to them to, to go off somewhere else and do it. And uh, it will just really help us get more people downloading the application and using it. I mentioned the other major benefit is how we track redemptions and, and using NFC is a key, a key way of us doing that. So I'll very quickly talk you through how that would work. Uh, when, when, the, when the user wants to redeem the, the voucher, they would click on redeem with NFC. Um, now using the example of a restaurant, what this would mean is when, when you get your bill in a leather, a leather folder, there'll be an NFC tag stuck onto that folder. So basically you redeem the voucher at the same time as you're giving your credit card, the same time as you're paying the bill. So you would click that button and the pop-up window would, would ask you if you're definitely sure you want to use it in case you've pressed it accidentally. 
you would click continue and it would then tell you, give you instructions on what to do. So you're basically tapping your phone against the tag, which is on the, the, uh, the folder, which contains your receipt, your bill. When you've done that, you'll, you'll basically get a confirmation message which says, thank you for redeeming the voucher. Now, what happens in the background is the phone will then send a report back to our servers. And this is the sort of information that we all capture on that report. We will get a unique ID number from the tag, so we know it's this particular branch of this particular restaurant. But the application itself will then in, add in all the other details. So the time of the redemption, the day of the week, the, the, the registered member's name and unique ID number, uh, and the particulars of, of that, that offer. So then the advertiser can log into our system, run the reports, and off they go. And it just closes the loop in terms of, of, of using, using digital coupons and using NFC. Um, we're also doing daily deals. Now, you guys have probably heard of Groupon, Living Social, all, all these different uh, daily deals websites. What we're doing, instead of trying to become another Groupon, is we're actually aggregating all of the deals from the 16 or so websites that are available in the United Arab Emirates which offer daily deals, and we're just pulling them down into another section of the application. Um, beyond that, it looks very similar to what you would see in Groupon. It's, it, it's exactly the same process. But what we're trying to do is give people who live in the UAE one single location where they can go to get all the best offers, whether it's digital coupons or whether it's daily deals. We're, we're drawing it all together onto the same application. When it comes to this transaction, this will actually be carried out through the phone and payment can either be made via credit card, um, via in-app purchases, via iTunes, the Nokia store, etc., or via their phone bill um, with Do and Etislat. Depending on the value, uh, would determine which of these options they would use. Uh, and we're also planning to source our own daily deals and add them to the, to the system. So th this application is launching on, uh, it's actually June the 1st. So the end, the end of May, we're launching here in the United Arab Emirates. Uh, we're then launching in Egypt at the end of June. Um, again, targeting tourists and residents. Uh, we're also, this is an example of one of the white label um, opportunities. We're, we're actually working with British Airports Authority to launch a version of this in the UK. And uh, this would be under the World Points brand, which is their loyalty program. But basically, it will give all inbound passengers to Heathrow Airport an application which has hundreds of different offers to help them save money while they're in London. And also while they're in the airport. There will be deals specific to restaurants and stores within the airport. Uh, we are actively looking at, at partnerships and other opportunities to expand into other countries. And uh, some of the target countries that, that we are that we're aiming for within the next 12 to 24 months. And, uh, and that's, that's basically the project in a nutshell. Um, is it, are there any questions? Yeah. Thank you for the presentation. If you have any slide which can drive us through the infrastructure, <coughs> If you have any slide that can uh, drive us through the infrastructure, like yeah, like where the server is going to sit, is it operated service or we, what's the solution, and you know, behind which of the bank or of the merchants, what are the components? Um, in, in, in terms of the, the infrastructure that's being used to, okay, so there's a number of different parts. The, the, the first part is the self-service advertising platform. Now, if you've ever used Google AdWords or Facebook advertising, you'll be familiar with the sort of, of, um, the sort of system we're using. You log on to a website, you create your profile, you upload your logo, all the different information, and then you set the parameters of the campaign. You can then pay in advance. You can put credit onto the system. So for example, uh, some advertisers are paying us 50 fills, so half of a dirham, for every downloaded voucher. So for example, so that would mean that every time someone opens the app and downloads the voucher, the credit is reduced and reduced and reduced. Um, so that's the system that the advertisers would use. And then in terms of the, the, the actual merchants, there are 20 different scenarios, depend, depending on the point of sale system they're using. So we have, we have some where they can basically take the unique ID number that's been generated from the app and manually put it into the system, and then that's all they need to do. They will then work with us to link their back-end reporting with our back-end reporting, but they can export our reports into a CSV file, an Excel file, and then manually do it. Um, 
Others who are using NFC probably means they don't want to touch the point of sale system. It may be that to, they have to reprogram it or they have to call the original installers to do something to it and it's just too expensive. So what we've tried to do here is build a system which can completely bypass the point of sale system if that's what they want to do. So uh, another, uh, another example would be Atlantis, AquaVenture, the water park. All that they will do is on, on their point of sale system there will be a yellow button. So we will show the phone they will press that button and then the user will press a confirm button in the phone. But the only reporting is happening at my side. Um, all their point of sale system will do is say there was 50 redemptions today on, on Yala. They will then use my reports to see what those redemptions were. So it's a completely web-based system really. Um, the only time we're working with hardware is, is on the point of sale side, but that depends on the merchant very much. Yeah. This, this whole process is, is uh, depending in any way on the mobile operator? Uh, <laughs> um, at the moment, the only involvement of, of a mobile operator would be if we chose to allow people to pay via their bill. So with doing Etislat, it would be a case of, I don't know if you've ever seen the mobile parking here in, here in Abu Dhabi in Dubai, where you can pay for your parking ticket via your phone. That's the only option. So. Let's say we were selling a voucher for five dirhams. You would have the option of paying for that via Do or Etislat. And, uh, and then there's a revenue share that goes on between ourselves and, and the, the operator. So we're trying to give people multiple ways of paying depending on what they prefer. Because some people, especially in this part of the world, they don't like putting credit card details onto a mobile application because of the high levels of fraud. So we offer mobile as an alternative payment and also the iTunes side of things as well. So they can pay via Nokia Store, iTunes, Google Play, via in-app purchases. So again, giving them the option of what they want to do. Thank you. Well, thank you very much.